I want to say, I think it's Booger Settler. So the first one's going to be right through here. Give me a nice deep breath in, all the way out. Good. Moving through that shoulder joint to activate the supraspinatus and the rest of the rotator cuff through. All right, welcome back everybody. This is Dr. Brady here uh, with Braden um, from CalSign Chiropractic. And today we're going to go over supraspinatus strain. Uh, we'll show Braden through um, some of the treatments we do here through the office. Um, and then we'll also show him some exercises that he can do at home and when he's not here in the office just to, to benefit and um, expedite the, the treatment process. Sound good? Absolutely. Right. So first thing I like to do with supraspinatus um, injuries are check out how, how the shoulder is moving. So right now we're just going to go through some range of motion exercises. So I'm going to have Braden bring that left shoulder all the way up as far as you can go. There you go. Yeah. Any pain, discomfort with that movement there? A little pop. A little pop. In the inner range motion. Okay. Painful or just mm -hmm. that pop? Okay. All the way back as far as we can go. Okay. Oh, Definitely pop there. Pop there. Okay. And then go ahead and turn towards the camera there. And I want to see you abduct your arm as far as you can go as well. Good. Any pain, discomfort with that movement? Right here. Right there. Yeah. At the very end. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to add a little bit of resistance here. So go ahead. All the way up. Any pain with that? Mm. Okay. So typically, what we see in supraspinatus strains or tears is that first 30 degrees or so of uh, abduction is when patients have the most pain. Um, Braden doesn't obviously have a supraspinatus uh, strain today, um, but we're just going to show for the video purposes uh, on how we would treat this condition. Uh, next test I would like to do is bring that left arm uh, across your body, place that thumb down. Going to add. Some pressure, resist, resist, Flatters. yeah, and that, that would be positive as well. So um, we're going to start off with some soft, soft tissue here and uh, get going. So you can have a seat facing that blue wall right there for me. So this injury is common in baseball players. Um, move the table maybe? Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of overhead um, movements, um, electricians, anything overhead causing that impingement or um, possible strain on, on the rotator cuff. So I'm just going to work on this muscle right here. So the rotator cuff is uh, made up of four muscles, and I'm going to put Braden on the spot here. You know what those four muscles are? Oh gosh, You're, I, I, I don't even have a clue. Any guess? Well, you, you know one at least. Um, I'm going to go deltoid. And uh, no, that's probably not part of it though. Yeah. Um, uh, super spinatus. Yeah, there we go. Uh, levator scap. No. Nah. No? Okay. Sits. Sits is the acronym, if that, if that helps. Sits, okay. Nothing. I got nothing. nothing. Okay, super spinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. I'm going to tell them new every day. I've heard of them. I'll put you on the spot. I didn't tell you before the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what, what I want to do here is lengthen the muscle here as I pin the muscle down and stretch it. So what I'm going to have Braden do here, start with your palm up just like this, and you're going to bring it all the way behind your back, just like that, okay? And as I'm doing this, if it's ever too intense, let me know. I'll back off a little bit. But I can tell people is a, a 7 out of 10 on the intensity scale is kind of what we're going for here. Do you have any Halloween plans that we're gonna dress up as? Uh, Batman. Batman. Okay. It's topical. Uh, Mario. Oh, you have multiple. I, I got multiple. Okay. Absolutely. Do you go through like a few parties a year? Uh, yeah, a few parties yes. a year. Okay. Looking forward to. It. That was just a first time costume, or do you reuse a lot? Uh, I, I reused Napoleon Dynamite okay. about about five years in a row, and I think it's I think it's time to finally it's put that the, one to rest. Yeah. <laughs> you had the vote for Pedro shirt and everything. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I like fluffed the hair up. Yeah. I had the glasses. You know a few lines for the movie. You can just recite just like that. I got, okay. I know most of it. I guess I'll put the whole dance, <laughs> the whole dance down. Yeah, that's what we should do for the video. Have I go through the whole routine. Yeah, I never invested in the moon boots though. <laughs> You think after like six yeah, years I would have purchased them. Alright, then you can relax here. Now you're going to be more of like a Christian Bale, um, 
Ben Affleck. What, what Batman are you going for? It's gonna be a um, like a plush onesie, Batman. <laughs> gotcha. So you have the voice? You practice in that? No. For the party now. No. I wear the uh, the eyeshadow like um. Uh, oh, what? Who, Edward who, from. Who did, uh, who, did, who did the most recent one? Yeah, it's the guy from Twilight. Robert Pattinson. Right, that's it. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I think it's gonna go go well with the. Uh, the, the, the pajama onesie. Yeah. So next, Braden, we're actually going to work on that muscle, even though it's not part of the rotator cuff. Um, sometimes it's involved in these injuries. Um, the levator scap. So in order to stretch that out, you're going to bring your head down for me and then turn it to the right. Feeling that stretch right in there? Yeah. You okay with the pressure? Absolutely. Good. Give me three more good ones just like that. Now, are you going to have a Luigi? Uh, I have a Princess Peach. Okay. There you go. And the last one. Yep. Went a little bit deeper there. Awesome. Perfect. So I'm going to have you go face down here for me, Braden. Next, what I like to do um, is adjust the, the upper thoracic spine, CT junction, just to create some motion um, in here. Sometimes with those tears, uh, the muscle around the shoulder capsule itself kind of guards and um, you lack that range of motion or mobility uh, in comparison to your uninjured and unaffected shoulder. Any pain as I press down in here, Britt? No. No, good. So the first one's gonna be right through here. Give me a nice deep breath in, all the way out. Good. Oh yeah. Good. And same thing down here in. Yeah. Now go ahead and flip on over here for me. So I'm going to go against Sammy's request here. I'm going to actually talk about football just because I, <laughs> I have to ask him if he thinks the Ravens are still what everyone thought they were at the beginning of the season. Uh, no, I think injuries in the defense call up. Okay. So, I want to say, I think it's Booger said it. Uh, these, uh, these aren't your daddy's Ravens. It's much more like offensive minded team. That's very true. It's defensive. So uh, like Ray Lewis, Ed Reed and stuff. Oh, they're, they, yeah. would, they would hate this team. Yeah, absolutely. Like they need that kind of character. Yeah. All right, so the next part of uh, the treatment here for supraspinous uh, strain or tears um, is going to be the exercise portion here. So we're going to have Brayden go in the, out on the exercise floor, uh, do a few exercises to strengthen that supraspinatus muscle. Um, and depending on the strain, um, we kind of ha have a timetable for the exercises. So if it was pretty acute, I would have him uh, do ice and stem before the exercises, but um, he doesn't have a, a strain today, so we'll go straight to the exercises. How's it going? This is Michael here from Calcutine Chiropractic, one of the corrective exercise specialists. We're gonna be going through some supraspinatus exercise progressions with Braden here. Starting with the isometric external rotation hold. So we got a little squishy ball against the wall. The back of his palm is gonna go against the ball. I'm actually gonna put this pillow between his elbow and his rib cage as well. So that's gonna go right over there. And that's gonna help patients with progression and just kind of keeping their positioning uh, in place. He's gonna press for about five seconds and then relax. And then he's gonna repeat. And this is great for patients who are post-surgical, post-op, and they have limited range of motion, keeping them in that, in that position the whole time, not going too far beyond that 90 degree hold. We're gonna take that right into a banded variation. So we're gonna grab the green band, and same thing for position cueing, he's gonna place that block just between his elbow and his rib cage, and then he's gonna turn the forearm out, keeping that 90 degree angle throughout, and then returning back where he started keeping the shoulder nice and stable, just moving through that shoulder joint to activate the supraspinatus and the rest of the rotator cuff root. The final progression we have, so we're gonna grab the tubing and Braden's gonna go into a resisted W. So he's gonna actually start with his arms extended out in front. He's gonna pull back 
and he's going to come into a W posture, which is going to not only retract the shoulder blades, we're engaging all that posterior shoulder girdle musculature, rhomboids, lower traps, but we get good external rotation through the shoulder itself, activating the supraspinatus, and we get a little bit of abduction as well. So another progression for people who are gaining more range of motion in that, uh, in that shoulder girdle. And those are our three progressions for the supraspinatus within the rotator cuff group. Thanks for demonstrating, Graydon. All right, and that's usually the typical uh, treatment as far as uh, supraspinatus injury in, in general. So you have the tendonitis, the strain, and, and sometimes the tear, depending on the grade. Um, so that's a, a general uh, treatment plan for that type of injury. Uh, glad you guys watched. Hit that like button. What else is there? Follow, follow, subscribe, comment. Come visit us at Chiropractic.